Hey, Luis here from Follow Me Fishing. I'm feeling pretty excited right now, getting ready to go out and throw the first cast of the year, first cast of 2018. I've been super busy with school, haven't been able to do it, finally found the opportunity. So I'm heading out there right now. The first place I am going to hit up is um, Osborne Dale State Park in Derby. For those of you who know it, I'm in Connecticut. I know for a fact they have uh, largemouth bass in there. Uh, they have catfish. So looking to go out there, throw some hot dogs on the bottom, maybe some plastic worms and uh, some lures up top, try to go for those bass. So uh, heading out there now, uh, I'm gonna you know, start filming again when I get out there, show you guys my setup, show you what I'm gonna do, and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish. First cast of 2018, here we go. Hey guys, made it, I'm here, Osborne Dale State Park. Just got here, um, just to show you guys, this is where I usually fish. I'll cast um, further out there. Usually we'll have catfish on the bottom. Bass are usually on this end over here. Um, so I would love to show you what I'm gonna do. I will invest in the GoPro eventually. You guys will be able to see everything I do. So for right now, I need both my hands. So I gotta record, I gotta stop, set up. But I'm gonna set up right now and then I'll show you guys my setup. And hopefully I will try, uh, again, just one-handed, I'm gonna try to see if I can allow you guys to see the actual uh, strike of the fish. So uh, let me set up and uh, we'll get back. All right, guys, uh, all set up here. Let me just show you what I got. Uh, let me see if I can flip this thing around. Here we go. So just to show you what I have here, uh, I got uh, a rod holder here uh, into the ground. I got my reel set up on there. Um, I got this belt attached to it. This allows me to um, it notifies me when a catfish is playing with the line before it actually grabs it so I can pay attention because I will be um, fishing for bass out over there uh, with my other line. Uh, and then we have here uh, some sinkers. We gotta make sure that the bait stays on the bottom. Uh, what I am using is a uh, circle hook uh, with some hot dogs. Uh, this is the first time I'm using hot dogs. I usually use uh, chicken livers, but the store didn't have any chicken livers, so we'll see what the hot dog does. And uh, what I have here on this end, uh, this type of reel is allows the line to run. Uh, it, it won't lock it. It'll allow the fish to actually take the line, which is good to use with circle hooks because you want the fish um, to be able to have the hook set on the corner of the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and cast it out and uh, we will see how we do. Pretty excited. Guys, so the line's in the water. Uh, cast it out the hot dog. It's out there somewhere. Just waiting for the little bells to buzz and then I'll get on that line. Uh, for my other line, I will start off um, using this frog. It's a uh, top water lure. Um, it's overcast right now. Um, so we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. If not, then we'll switch over to um, to some night crawlers or plastic worms. But uh, all right, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I got something on my line here on the hot dogs on the bottom. I think it's uh, probably catfish trying to reel it in and record at the same time. This thing's really tugging on my line. Um, I switched locations. I don't know if you noticed the wall now. There was nothing biting over there. So I figured I'd try over here and then landed. So I'm trying to reel it in and record at the same time for you guys. Um, I'm gonna try to at least bring it in up into the wall where you can see it. Just bear with me here. Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't know if you guys can see him. Got a catfish right there. I gotta bring him over the wall. So thankfully I have my net here. All right. There we go. Let's see what we have here, guys. Look at that. That's a catfish right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. See my hand, it's a decent sized catfish. All right guys, so let me see if I can, sorry guys, let's see. So as you can see, circle hook caught him right in the corner of the mouth, right there. See that? Circle hooks are good, catch and release hooks. I'm trying to get this guy out. Hold on, hold on there buddy. All right, let's see, where are you? There you are. 
All right, so I need two hands, guys. Uh, I'm gonna just remove this hook real quick. Grab the catfish. So you guys, there we go. That's our catfish right there. Caught him on the hot dog on the bottom. First of the first of the day, Osborne Dale State Park, guys. First catch of 2018 with here. Follow me fishing. So I'm gonna just uh, release this guy and uh, keep recording. So here he is, the catfish we just caught here in uh, Osborne Dale State Park. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. Nice. And I know there's plenty more to come. And there he goes. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's trying to swim away. They stay on the bottom. So that's why bottom fishing for these guys is good. So there we have it. I'm gonna throw another piece of hot dog and see if we get any more. Stick with me. All right guys, just wanted to record. Uh, my line just started running a little bit and then it went loose. I think there's something on the other end. I'm just gonna hold off for a little bit, see if it pulls again. If not, then I'll just reel it in and uh, we'll see what we got. Sometimes the catfish will grab it and for some reason it seems like they'll stay in place and then run a little bit and then stop they're pretty weird but um we'll take a look at it here in a little bit yeah i just wanted to see if they it pulls again let me reel it in a little bit see what happens I'm trying to get you guys to see the action hold on let's pull it in a little bit See if we feel any resistance. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Can't tell, it's hard to tell. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's see. Nah, I don't think there's anything, guys. Alright, well, let's see what happens. I'll just reel in. And uh, it's starting to rain. It's getting a little bit cold now. So we'll probably call it a day. We got a nice sized catfish earlier. Yeah, no, nah, nothing. Yeah, sometimes this happens, guys. The hot dog is still on there, though. Maybe I'll catch one more time and see what happens. Oh, no, nah, came off the hook now. Yeah. Here, I'll put in one more and then cast. Just to see if I can get you guys to see the action. All right, so give me a second. I'll set this up and then we'll start recording again. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see my pole, the line and the tip. So something's pulling it, but it hasn't taken it yet. Or else the line would be running. Still tugging at it. Still tugging at it, but he won't take it. Come on, just take it. So the hot dog's been working really good here for the catfish on the bottom. Um, as you can see, it's starting to rain, which is good. It's ideal um, fishing time. I brought my poncho, but uh, it is also getting a little cold. So just hang out for a little bit more, see if we catch this guy, and uh, then we'll call it a day. Just want you guys to see some action, man. It's such a great feeling when you get a fish on your line and they start going, and it's just an exciting feeling. I want you guys to be there with me. So hold on, the line's getting loose again. Let's see if I can tighten that up a little bit here. Hang on, guys. All right. Yeah, a little clicking sound you hear is uh, it's the setup of the reel. So when the fish grabs and goes, it'll just continue clicking until I lock it. And uh, like I said, these are ideal for uh, circle hooks because as the fish is going, and it's taking the line it allows the hook to adjust itself at the corner of the mouth then when you lock it the hook basically sets itself sometimes if uh, the hook is not set right on the corner of the mouth and you go to set the line it just pops right out of the, the fish's mouth so it's a good setup we have we already caught one we're hoping to go for number two and uh, just want you guys to see some action so just hang there with me there we go guys it's going a little bit, you see? I don't know if you hear the clicking. I think there's something on there now, though. Kind of pulled in and released it. Line got taut, clicked, 
then it got loose but it's, I see it moving I don't know if that's the waves or if that's the fish we'll check it out I, that's definitely there we go that's it so let me lock it I reel it in and the hook should set in the corner of its mouth by just reeling it in all right let me see if I can do this one-handed guys so with the circle hooks, it basically sets itself. You don't have to yank the pole back or nothing. Let's see what we got. All right, I think we got something, guys. Ah, uh, nah. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. That's really loose. Should have waited a little bit more, but you know what? Sometimes that's that's how it happens. Yeah, see, nothing. But at least I'm glad you guys got to see a little action. See how the the reel runs and how it works. This is it, Osborne Dale State Park. We did catch a catfish today with the hot dog. So I say thumbs up success. So uh, this is Luis. And until next time, follow me fishing.